it's Emily from The Pinning Mama. Welcome back. Today we are on lesson 12. We are learning all about the kerning feature. Last week we learned all about scale and shear. In case you're new to Silhouette Bootcamp, it's filled with many lessons that help us learn the terminology in Silhouette Studio so that we can dream up and create any design we want with ease. Kerning is simply manipulating the space between letters or characters. Um, T, A, V, A, and P period are known as kerning pairs. So whenever you have a T, A together, there's always a very interesting space between it in most fonts that you write in Silhouette Studio. I wrote the words taco and van out for you. And then I just duplicated the words and colored them in so that I can show you the differences when we use the kerning feature. Kerning is off naturally by default. If I were to click on that, it's off in Silhouette Studio by default. So in, if you want to use kern, the kerning feature, you have to turn it on. Kerning is found over here in the textile box. Open up textile and down here where it says kerning, you'll find that it's off right now. If I were to turn it on, make sure my word is highlighted and click that. If, if you notice, it spaces the letters completely, so they're completely spaced evenly. I'll do it down here in Van as well. Now I'll show you what to do. Oh, you can also find kerning up here. If you go to Panels, Text, Textile, it'll bring up the same box down here. So now if I place this on top of, well, let me bring it to front. Place it on top. It's very, very subtle differences like you can see, but everything is spaced evenly. Same with Van. Or we can do this. Oh, that one didn't work. This one's very, very subtle. See that? Um, kerning is great. Uh, to use in wide and script fonts. Um, that's re really where you'll find that it's more appealing to the eye to turn the kerning feature on, is in really wide fonts, really scripty type fonts. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys in lesson 12. It's super, super simple, but it's a, a feature that you can change the way your letters or your words look to make them little, a little more appealing and um, to the eye. Um, you can play around with it with different fonts. I kind of did. I played around with it at different fonts to see which ones I like the best with or without. Um, stay tuned next week for another great lesson on the nesting feature. Thanks, guys.